Entering perio measurements is a snap from within Denimax. It's super easy to do. If you're in your appointment book, to access your perio measurements, you can go to your left-hand side of your screen and go into your View Perio Exam button. The top of your screen, you'll always have this dark blue toolbar, which includes the perio measurements. So no matter where you're at, you can get to the perio area of the program by clicking on perio here, top of the screen. My preferred method is just to go to the appointment. Right-click on it, and all the available options appear, including View Perio Exam. So I'm going to go ahead and select that option. We'll click on New Perio Exam. One of the things that you can do is you can copy from a previous exam. And so if you click on this button, it will list all your previous exams. In this case, John Cook only has one previous exam. So when I click on that, those measurements automatically pop in. And so if I'd like, I can go ahead and modify those measurements. Okay, That's one way of doing it. I'm going to go ahead and cancel out the screen just to declutter it. We'll click on New Perio Exam and have a nice, fresh, clean exam here. There are several movements that you can choose for entering your perio measurements. You can do the buckle and lingual side of 1 through 16 first, and then go down to a buckle lingual for 32 through 17. So if I choose this movement, I can use my keyboard to enter in the perio measurements, or I can use this little keypad pad in the bottom right hand corner and enter those in. So if I have a tablet PC, this will work wonderfully. You could go ahead and use a tablet to enter in these measurements. Uh, if you have a blood spot, you can click on B or hit the B key on your on your keyboard to enter that in, or S for separation, and again S on your keyboard for separation. Or you can put a blood spot and separation on the same tooth. Okay. So if we choose a different movement, maybe we'll do each tooth by itself. Okay. So if we do that, we'll back over to here. You can see that we're recording parallel measurements by tooth. All right. So you have these various measurements that you can choose from. Also, you can record gingival margins. So we'll go ahead and select that, and the same way is used entering your, your uh, gingival margins. You can use your keypad, or you can use your uh, just the keypad on the computer or the keypad on the computer screen to enter that information in. Uh, and then you have your clinical attachment level, which is really just adding your, your probing depths and your gingival margins together. Okay, and So by entering in my gingival margins, it automatically calculates my uh, clinical attachment level. Now, if you're not using all these measurements, you can declutter your screen. So if I right-click in here, it will show all these different things that you can record. But maybe I don't want to record my plaque level. I'll right-click again. Maybe I don't want to record my mobility. And so by deselecting these items, you can see that they disappear from the screen. I'll go ahead and add them back in. Add back in our mobility and our plaque level. Okay. So going back to tooth number two, um, we have our frication grades that we can record Okay, for our molar there. Uh, plaque level we have back now, and so we can record by tooth, light, moderate, or heavy on the plaque level. Mobility, you have the option of 1, 2, or 3. I'll press 3 on, your key, on the keyboard to get mobility as a level 3. Bone loss, you have mild, moderate, or severe you can choose from. And then you have your mucogingival defect, um, loss of your healthy uh, pink gum tissue by tooth. You can select that as well. Here at the bottom of the screen, um, you can put in notes, and so... Um, I'm going to go ahead and paste in my note that I already had. Patient bleeds excessively on tooth number two. And so if that's the case, we probably ought to put some blood spots there on tooth number two. Um, let's go ahead and save our changes. And I'm going to go back into the other graph, or the other perio measurement screen. And I'm going to go ahead and click on View Graph. Okay, This is just a wonderful way of graphically showing your patients their perio measurements. Now you can view multiple exams the graphed on your screen at the same time. If you do that though you might want to declutter it. And so here we are comparing just our uh, probing depth side by side. You have the darker one uh, and then you have a lighter one. So I normally would have different dates. You can see the different dates here uh, showing if there's any improvements or whatnot with your perio measurements. So this is a great patient education tool that you could use. Uh, comparing uh, parallel measurements from different dates. Also from your graph screen, you can print this whole graph out if you choose to. Just click on print this graph, say OK, and if you have a color printer, it'll print out this entire graph in full color. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and close the screen down. And we'll go back over to our parallel exam screen. Um, from here, we can print out our exam if we choose to. Just click on print exam. And again, we can put this, print this exam out with a full chart. Or if you choose to, you can just print out the regular exam without the, the full chart, just a regular parallel exam.
Another thing that you can do from your Perio exam screen is quickly go to a PSR exam. So just click on here on the side on new PSR exam. And here um, you might do some pre-screening with some patients where you're uh, recording Perio measurements by sextants. So you can easily and quickly enter in the average of the Perio measurements by every sextant in the mouth. As you can see, the Perio charting screen is very comprehensive and extremely easy to use.